welcome to another edition of Without Sleeps. Turn on the light first. <coughs> I'm gonna make it quick. This today is a oh, turn down the take off the microphone jack, turn down the volume so we can hear some Mozart and Tchaikovsky. My f or maybe not. Okay. I'm gonna make this quick because it's been a tiring day, even though I napped in the afternoon. Today is the 11th of June 2017, it's a Sunday, it's 4.15 a.m. Tomorrow morning I have to go and eat some curry noodles. Never eaten there before. I'm bringing my uncle, Uncle Wahing there. Normally we go and eat at a place called uh, Mahaje at this restaurant called to go to the other restaurant, forget. So today has been a very fun day because we went to. Uh, let me get the light out of the bed so it'll be brighter. Okay, good. Let's put you down on this thing here. So today has been a fun day. Do, did the, uh, some call it Tanjung Tualang uh, Chronicles. Ate some good food and uh, filmed quite a lot. In the night time, we went to the Hakka noodles, also one of the best Hakka noodles in Ipoh. They get very distracted by those uh, videos that I take at Tikkun. Love this swimsuit. Thank you. Should I move the camera so much? You can watch this in, as in my my intro channel intro. Music is distracting me too much. So today uh, done a lot of things. Tomorrow to do more things. So we went to this uh, Sungai Durian village. It's interesting, not so much actually. <coughs> <coughs> the subscriber says, oh, it's very interesting, this place of birth. Well, I've been to many villages. Uh, I wouldn't say it's interesting. The scenery going up the hill of this Sungai Durian village is blocked by that uh, trees so I did not get to see the scenery or the mountains so it's not interesting not so much hey give me money okay you asked me to go there give me some compensation support me through patreon you subscriber who I do not know or I have renamed you yo yo it's a very quiet place, this Sungai Durian. It must be very nice to live there because it's so quiet. The community is a bit, well, small. It's like, uh, you can say that it's on the, it's like a fortress, you know? You can defend the place, provided the enemy does not have mortars or nuclear bombs or whatnot. Or artillery for that matter I think there's only one way up I mean official way going up I look at the Google Maps it's just one way going up to the Sungai Dua 
Sungai Durian Village. But the food that was good in Tanjung Dualang is quite coincidental. Suddenly my uncle says he wants to go and eat something at in Tanjung Tuang and I said yeah let's go it's only about 30 40 minutes from Ipoh so we went spent about 160 ringgit for the food that means 40 ringgit per person that's roughly less than 10 US dollars per person for seafood seafood is quite expensive in Malaysia uh, so besides uh, the physical physicality of actually going out and filming shit uh, in regards to my channel updates, I already finished uploading or releasing or making all the videos public instead of private or unlisted in my Jericho Malaysia street food channel. So, yep, I finished everything already. Clicked a lot of clicks. My fingers are quite numb. So, now I have to update it with regular... Uh, videos food videos the ones that I've been accumulating or have released in my main channel the media events and food channel since the beginning of this year so maybe there's a lot I'm not sure no idea but I don't think there will be a lot because I've been what you call it stuck in Kuala Lumpur which I did not go and do many food videos at all so I think relatively it won't be a mammoth task. You have been like, if you were able to stomach watching all my videos until the end or until the outro, that means the epilogue where you can see my face and of course the recommendation of videos. Normally you see two recommendations but nowadays I do not do it because it involves too many clicks and I do not want to click too many times putting the recommendation or the playlist at the end of the video so I don't like to do that anymore unfortunately it might be good to keep the viewer uh, looped or stuck in my universe in my recommendations but fuck it I don't want to click too many times so that's an accomplishment, finished releasing all the videos that I've uploaded at the beginning of this year or last year, no idea. Now I've just uh, updated with all of my food videos in my main channel and after that I'll go into the Gundams, Gunpla and Toys channel and I'm going to release everything inside it. And I'll update it with newer videos from my main channel. The New Zealand one, I've been like steadily releasing the videos. I already uploaded all of the raw files, the, all the videos files into it. But I have to like compile it into regular videos using the YouTube editor so that each video has its own title so there's more to it when it comes to the New Zealand channel it will take some time to release all of the videos there maybe a month I'm not sure and today I already made another channel which is ASMR and No Voice so there's a new channel called Jericho Malaysia ASMR and No Voice this would well Mostly all the videos that's going to be put in this ASMR or Autonomous Sensory Mem sensory Meridian Reception and No Voice channel would be food without my voice. That's it. And then I think that's about it. Oh yeah, I uh, almost forgot. Today I finished... Uh, editing all the videos for the Nokia I've already I mean I think I released the full full video video full videos uh, a couple of days ago now I've already like just now about two hours ago I've just well made it into smaller chunks 
So the smaller chunks with its specific titles will be released maybe tomorrow. Uh, what else I wanted to say? Ah, uh, I think I'm going to do a video about anime or cartoons from the 80s that has a very badass uh, intro uh, music such as Transformers, such as Mask, such as Spiral Zone and I think that's about it. Spiral Zone, Transformers, G.I. Joe I think that's all. All the very badass, very good intro songs. There are many things I want to do. So, I think that's about it. Uh, do I have anything else to say? Not much actually. Oh yes, I've... Uh, you know, I just downloaded the 11 gigabyte Blu-ray version of the movie Predator. Wow, it's pretty awesome actually. A lot of the 80s stuff is pretty, pretty awesome. It's not like those CGI fuckfest stupid stupid movies nowadays. Nowadays, the movies have already been like relegated to the back seat, whereas the TV series is in front. So, I've recommended a couple of shows to you, like The Expanse, go and watch it. I haven't even delved or delve into the audio books or all the books, you know, the audio version. I will only find the first novel, second, third, fourth novels, can't find it on YouTube, so maybe they do not exist, the audio books. But never mind, just watch f two seasons of The Expanse from Sci-Fi Network. Another show that you should actually watch would be American Gods. I remember borrowing the novel American Gods from Epo Swimming Club. I read it maybe two years ago when I had nothing to do at all. I wasn't that into YouTube. Maybe I got depressed because of YouTube and just because I was just focusing on one thing which is cosplay. And cosplay bought the shit out of me and that's why I became depressed and started questioning my existence. Until I bounced back and became less depressed after recovering psychologically and physically from my wound, which is the broke not a, the breaking of my collarbone. So I tried to watch the full I mean I got like 20 more minutes of Predator and I felt very sleepy so I stopped it so oh we we'll continue tomorrow in finishing the Predator now it's just the section that I haven't watched is uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is beginning to make traps around the small little lake or waterfall area so it's quite badass it's quite nice it makes me want to like download or get a review copy for the movie Commando. Yeah, I might want to watch Commando because I know it's quite campy and back in the 1980s and 90s they played the show Commando starring Arnold Schwarzenegger on TV. I want to go and revisit it and watch it. The Predator, you can watch it on Astro, the HBO, the movie channel channels in Astro so but uh, it's I don't think it has the same feel as the blu-ray versions uh, Astro shows can I mean they cut some gruesome scenes or cuss words so it's kind of like annoying another show that I really liked is uh, Starship Troopers and they are coming up with a new CGI fuckfest movie soon not sure when it's coming out and I saw the trailer and it was quite awesome saw some very huge insects I'm not sure what they represent or what their their purpose is but if you have a chance go and watch uh, Starship, Starship Troopers uh, starring Casper Van Diem and the ever beautiful 
Dennis Richards who resembles from my humble opinion my ex-girlfriend Lai Wan Chui so Dennis Richards do look a bit like my ex-girlfriend so I guess Lai Wan Chui is my is the Asian or chink version of Dennis Richards I don't think my ex-girlfriend had the same I mean not it. I mean, her breast is quite big as well, but I don't think it's as saggy and big as Dennis Richard's breast. But never mind, that's not important. I mean, breasts are very important, definitely. Licky licky, yum yum. And squishy squishy, soft soft. So, what else do I want to say? So, I want to do that uh, porn reviews, hopefully soon. I want to give my thoughts on all these movies that I've watched. There are many things I want to do. New content to release, new channels to manage. So I want to like put all the shit in the new channels, so that once I go back to Kuala Lumpur at the end or not the end, after Ramadan or after Hari Raya, or in the middle or first half of July two thousand seventeen. I will have those other channels, the other 14 channels waiting for new content. I better write down commandos because I might forget to download commandos. Do you know how many uh, tabs I have on the Opera? I have about uh, maybe less than 50 tabs open simultaneously. It's quite a lot of tabs. It's quite uh, daunting for one web browser. But uh, the reasons why I leave the tabs on is because I want to revisit it. But in the end, I would never revisit it. So it's perpetually open. I have something to say actually. Ah oh, yes, July will be a day or a month that will come back to Ipo quite often because there is that uh, there is a beauty pageant happening in Panko Island. Panko Island is in Perak. It's west of Ipo, about maybe less than an hour away from Ipo. Going to Tiawan there, take a ferry to the island and the beauty pageant is there. I do not know what's the name of the beauty pageant, but something's happening there and I want to come and cover it. Because there will be 31 established beauties, that means pretty girls with titles under their belts already who are going to compete for some beauty pageant, which starts at Panko, then the middle. Uh, event would be in Kuala Lumpur, then the fine super finals would be in Beijing or something somewhere else, not in Malaysia somewhere else. So that would be interesting. I have to come back here. And uh, there are a lot of things happening in Penang as well. In Penang, there is that music, uh, music thing called Anime Matsuri. That's happening happening at some stadium which I've visited before for my friends uh, Sam's Battle of the Chefs 2016. It was quite interesting. Yeah, that uh, arena. I forgot the name of that stadium. That in that indoor stadium. There's something happening there, which is the anime Matsuri, some concert type of anime fuck fest. So hopefully I'll get the media invites if I do get the immediate invites then I have a chance to go and like enjoy and also film the shit out of the events maybe it's just all concerts because that stadium is just something like an indoor indoor uh, arena that's suitable for well 
things that should not touch the sky or be rained on so is I mean if I go to the anime Matsuri 2017 next month I think it's next month then I would like pitch a tent and the beach next to next to the Penang Swimming Club early in the morning I would like wake up have a shower shit maybe in Penang Swimming Club have coffee free coffee in Penang Swimming Club then go and eat some food or shoot something in Georgetown from uh, Batu Fringi there which is where Penang Swimming Club is go to I mean the same as 2016 Battle of the Chefs in early in the morning I'll just uh, drop by at Georgetown Georgetown there will be a lot of good food good food is normally normally open from early morning until noon uh, so those those are normally the good food same as Ipo. Ipo also has the same modus operandi they uh, good food is only open early in the morning so stop there maybe shoot some new food and after that go to the stadium which is past the bridge the Penang bridge but is before the new bridge the Sultan Hamid bridge <coughs> which is at the south of Penang Island so I think the event is like a two-day event I'm not so sure so I mean it would be a nice change of pace I'm so afraid of Kuala Lumpur already I'm so bored of Kuala Lumpur So Penang is a nice place I mean I, I just love the the freedom that Penang offers the independence but also it's very scary to like sleep in a tent even though the beach is well lit I mean I should consider going to the backpackers just pay about 30 ringgit a night for a comfortable bed and short showers okay the Nang Swim Club has better showers better, facili better facilities better swimming pool good steam room if I wanted to after hard days work filming go into their what go into their salty swimming pool then um, emerge and go into the steam room or if I don't like the steam I prefer the steam over the dry sauna so yeah I, I don't like the, the dry sauna at all I prefer the steam room go to the steam room get sweaty sweat all the poisons or toxins away so I mean I haven't done that in ages in months I can't even remember the last time I went to Penang for such uh, an event if I wanted the date then I should just go back into like say Battle of Chefs 2016 and find the date I did not go to the mini comic fiesta in Penang because I could not be bothered and I don't think there was and there, there are a lot of anime events happening in Penang but I did not go because I was stuck in Kuala Lumpur Kuala Lumpur had all the events even the anime events in Kuala Lumpur or Selangor I did not go to all of them because I have other more interesting events happening somewhere else uh, all this uh, anime or cosplay stuff normally happens on a Saturday and Sunday and if there's something clashing with it or ha has or happens at the same day I prefer to go to the other events the other event besides the cosplay because cosplay is like it's just I feel a bit bored about cosplay I just want to like prioritize cosplay I only want to go to the major cosplays even though I have a channel that is dedicated to cosplays I don't want to go to all of the cosplays the ones that I must cover is of course any manga key and of course uh, comic fiesta in December there's a couple of uh, cosplays in Singapore that I might want to cover 
uh, already like asked around for the media invites for this AFA. AFA is I'm not sure what it stands for. Uh, it's in Singapore. I think AFA is also going to do something in Penang. I also have like asked about it about media invites for this AFA in Penang. But what I'm like pinning for is Singapore because Singapore is such a enigma. Even though I've been there twice for events. Which is uh, what those events are. Uh, I think it was 2014 uh, STGCC, which is stand, which stands for Singapore Toys, Games, Cocks and Cunts, which happens in Marina Bay Sands. <coughs> that was the time before I had this broken collarbone that I sustained from a trip from Johor to Kuala Lumpur fell down because of the back tire exploding and I became Superman and I cheese grated my helmet body and soul on the tar Mac not tarmac it's not the not airport uh, on the north and south highways tar road which gave me or cost me ten thousand ringgit for the operation in in installing a titanium thing that holds my collarbone, my left collarbone together. So after that, I did not go to Johor or Singapore ever since. So I don't. When was it? It was two thousand fourteen, I think. So I haven't been to Singapore in two years. I had a chance to actually go to Singapore last year, two thousand sixteen. Because I applied for media invites for this STGCC at Marina Bay Sands, the Singapore Toys, Games, Cosplays and Convention. I got the media invites. I haven't actually explained why I did not like go to this STGCC 2016. If I were to go to STGCC 2016, I have to like... Uh, Stay in a co- in a backpackers, which I think cost about twenty thirty U- Singapore dollars, and that's quite expensive actually. I would have to stay there and attend the con. I mean, it's quite expensive. The food is expensive. The backpack backpack is backpacking or backpackers is expensive. Then have to go there. How do I go there? Do I take my bike? How do I take a train? I'm, there's so many like variables. And in the end, I was fussing about it. I'm not sure whether to go or not. And in the end, I did not go at all. I had a video to actually prove that I was fussing over whether to go or not. And I did, haven't released the video yet. Oops. It has been, what, nine months since then or less than that. That goes to show I have a lot of videos that I haven't even released yet. Hopefully in the future I will do that. Hopefully this these two weeks or this month I will do it. I intend to like clear out all of the old videos as soon as possible. So there will be a furry, not furry, a flurry. A lot of videos will be like coming out soon and it will flood you to your eyeballs. Because I just want to get rid of this extra baggage. I want to just release them as... I mean, I mean, I don't want it to nag me, you know, because in the back of my mind, I have a lot of old videos that need to be released, but it's not getting the release thing or release uh, date because I've been dilly dallying and releasing the newer videos. So it's time to give the oldies a bit of love and just release it into the stream. So that's why I'm, I don't want to go back to Kuala Lumpur. If I go back to Kuala Lumpur, there will be a lot of events to like shoot. I think I prefer to go for the pageants, you know. Pageants is quite fun. Food can be provided. But the most important thing is beautiful girls and swimming, swimsuit categories that those really intrigue me a lot. Makes me hard too. And uh, there are not many of them, so thank God. When it comes to like pageants, I wouldn't go for the 
auditions or the interviews those things no thanks I prefer the final product which is the I think the press con press con is okay uh, the final gala dinner is okay and uh, these two things just the press con and the final gala dinner I like so pageants is okay I already have a channel for beauty pageants so I'm waiting to like put my content into it when I feel like it but now I've injured my fingers my fingers are quite numb from clicking a lot you know Gunpla or Gundams um, uh, haven't been like doing my sasabi at all and yeah I think that's about it. I don't think I have any more, anything else to say. Yeah. Good night. Bye bye. Hope you enjoyed it. Wow. How many minutes already? Thirty minutes. Oh. So like, subscribe. Please uh, help the channel by donating to pay, uh, donating to me through PayPal or be a monthly Patreon donor. Just one US dollar per month from you will do. Thank you very much and bye bye. <coughs> Need to sleep. It's 4:48 p.m. Oh, sorry, a.m. now. Oh fuck. Good night. Sayonara. Bye bye. Oh, yeah.